Welcome. In this video, I want to show you a little bit about the way the data validation tools work inside of Microsoft Excel. Now, the data validation tools basically allow you to control how somebody is allowed to, or what somebody is allowed to input into a cell. And there are a variety of them. You can access them by going to the data tab and clicking on the data validation button. When I click data validation, you'll get this dialog box. The first tab here is the settings tab, and this is where you're going to set up the validation criteria. In this case, the default is to allow any value, but if I click the drop down, I can restrict this to just whole numbers, decimal numbers, lists of information, dates and times, I can restrict the number of characters or the text length, or I can select custom and use a formula. So There's quite a few options here that you can choose from. One of the options that isn't very self-explanatory is list. So let's see how we might do that. I'm going to go ahead and click cancel here, and then I'm going to go ahead and highlight these cells here. And anytime somebody comes to one of these cells and attempts to enter in a value, I want it to automatically give them a drop down that will allow them to select from a list of departments, a predefined list of departments. Now I've actually placed that list of departments right here on my worksheet, but you could place this anywhere at all on your worksheet, like let's say on sheet 3 or sheet 2, just to keep it out of the way. So I've highlighted my cells, and now I'm going to click on data validation, and I'm going to say that the value in these cells needs to come from a list. I'm going to say ignore blanks, and I want to use an in-cell drop-down automatically. And the source of my list is going to be these cells right here. So I can just simply go ahead and highlight that range. You'll see it puts it in as an absolute value. And then simply click OK. And those data validation rules have now been applied to those cells. So when I come to cell C2, you'll see there's my drop-down arrow for that cell. And when I click it, there are my choices. So I can select admin, just like that. Now let's go ahead and set up the data validation rules maybe for salary. Let's go ahead and highlight those cells again. And then I'm going to again go to the data tab and then click on the data validation tab. And in this case, I want this to allow a decimal number. And I'm going to say that the number is going to be between two values. And you can go ahead and see there's different options here for greater than and less than. And I'm going to say the minimum value that should be here is 1,000. And the maximum value that should be here is going to be 150,000. I'll click OK. And now that rule has been applied to that particular cell. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And you'll see I can type in 2,000. And it accepts it fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and select, type in 10, and you're going to see that I get an error message that appears. Now this isn't a very useful error message, so I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel here, and I'm going to highlight those cells again, and come back up to Data Validation. And there's two additional tabs here, Input Message and Error Alert, that allow you to give your users more information about what they're supposed to enter into those cells. So I'm going to click on input message and say show input message when the cell is selected. I'm going to leave that checked. And when the cell is selected, show this input message. And I'm going to go ahead and type just for our reference, um, this is the title. So an input message, enter value between 1,000 and 150,000. And then I'm going to go ahead and click OK. I didn't do the error alert yet. We'll do that next. I'm going to go ahead and click OK there. And you'll see that whenever I enter one of those cells, I get this little yellow tooltip. Whatever I place where it says this is the title, that'll be the title for this box. And then under description, there's the message. And again, that'll come up every time I select one of the cells that has that rule. Now what I want to do is I want to customize that error message a little bit more. So I'm going to highlight those cells and go back to data validation. And then click on error alert. 
and the alert type I want to use a stop and I'm going to say incorrect value for the title and then you must enter a value between 1,000 and 150,000 and I'll click OK there and now again you'll see that tip comes up but if I type in the value 10 and hit enter the error message dialog box that comes up now has the title and the error message that I chose and will allow me to retry cancel this out or go to help I'm going to say retry and go ahead and type in 2000 and since that meets the, my rules that one works for me and you can do the same thing with dates as well if I highlight birth date here and click on data validation you'll see that I can come here and I can say that this has to be a date and I'm going to say that the date has to be uh, um, let's say less than and I'll enter in uh, 1 1 2000 and then OK and if I try and type in 1 1 1999 you'll see it accepts that but if I wanted to do 1 1 2001 it's going to give me that error message and again I could set up input messages and error messages for myself um, just like I did for the other items that were there so that's a brief description of how to use the data validation tools inside of Microsoft Excel if you're interested in uh, more tutorials on Microsoft Excel 2010 and on uh, data validation, please visit our website at www.learnexcelfunctions.com. That was www.learnexcelfunctions.com.